Welcome to video lecture series on Fortran. In this video, we are going to see formatted write statement. We have already seen unformatted write statement. To see that video, please find link on the i button. Now, syntax of formatted write statement is write in parenthesis asterisk comma n. We have already seen the syntax of unformatted write statement. It was write in parenthesis asterisk comma asterisk the only change is instead of this second asterisk there is n okay and then expression 1 expression 2 expression 3 and so on we can write number of expressions here okay so we will see some examples here now in this case it is written write then bracket star comma 25 and then in bracket close a comma b comma c so these are three variables a comma b comma c and uh, they have some values right they may have some values and we have to print this the these variables let us consider that, that they are of real type okay those are of real type now here this 25 is nothing but statement number statement number of format okay so what the fortran will do Fortran will when it will come to this 25 it will see for a statement having 25 number so Fortran got a statement having 25 number and in this statement it is written format in bracket 3f 10.2 now what does this means this means that format for printing a b and c because since there are three a b c okay therefore we have written here three so this is format for printing these values similarly here it is written write 75 again 75 is the statement number Fortran will find a statement number with 75 and in this format the format it is given f10.2 e10.4 and f8.3 right now in this case this first f10.2 is for a e10.4 is for b and f8.3 is for c okay so for different uh, variables we have given different format right whereas in first case if all of all the variables are of same type we can give them by just multiplying it with 3 so here 3 f 10.2 means it is nothing but f 10.2 comma f 10.2 comma f 10.2 instead of writing repeatedly f 10.2 f 10.2 what we can do we can just multiply it with numbers Similar to the write statement, there is print statement. This is formatted print statement. Now, what was syntax of unformatted print statement? It was print and in here it was asterisk, right? Here it was star, comma. Now, instead of star, it is replaced with n, okay? Again, the uh, syntax is same, expression 1, expression 2, and expression 3. Here are again same, same examples are used. But only the difference is that instead of write statement here, there is a, there are print statement. Again, why there are two statement in Fortran for output? One is write and another one is print. That we are going to see in upcoming videos. Now this table is very important. Now in this table, first is given as data type. We have seen that Fortran has uh, various data types like integer, real, double precision, character, logical and so on right. Now this one is known as descriptor editor or edit descriptor. This is syntax and this one are some examples. Now for example if we want to print integer okay if you want to print integer. Integer means for example this 2 is integer whereas this 2.0 is a real number okay so number without a decimal point is known as integer or number without a fraction is known as integer so now here descriptor is i and syntax is n i w now this n means number of repetitions this i stands for integer and this w stands for width of that um, storage okay so this is known as width here is example i5 now here n is not given means n by default is 1 okay 
now what this i5 means we are going to see soon okay now next is real means decimal form for decimal form we have to use f and format is similar to this instead of i we have replaced it with f but here there is w point d now why there is decimal because this is real number okay and there will be a decimal point so this d stands for digit after decimal point number of digit after decimal point so in this case we can see f10.2 is given now f10 10 is the overall width whereas 0.2 means after decimal point there will be two values then real exponential form for real exponential form we, we can use e then real general form we can use g okay then there is double precision that is d for character we can make use of a remember for character we have to make use of a and this is the syntax n a w and for string or for uh, character string there is double quote or single quote okay so this is fixed text now here is one example and through that example we will uh, understood that how this works okay now here as we have seen that n is the repetition factor number of times we have to repeat i is integer f is real e is exponential g is general d is double precision a is character right w indicates the overall width total space for the data and d indicates this d indicates the digit after decimal points okay now here is one example 1 2 3 4 point 4 5 6 4 and if we print it or if we take output of this using f 10.2 now what will happen now we will try to understand first f means f means it is of real type right i means it is of integer type so f is real type so there will be decimal point definitely now what this 10 means 10 means a uh, 10 spaces are allotted to it okay so see here this is 1 2 3 4 5 right 6 7 8 9 and 10 so 10 spaces are allotted here now in this 10 spaces we have to write this one how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay so how to write this here so what we have to do it is 10.2 right so what we will do starting from last okay starting from last we will cut two portions so this is two and therefore we will cut two portions after cutting two portions we will write down period means full stop in one of the bracket okay in in the immediate bracket and then we will start writing four three two one see here four three two one and the remaining bracket we have to left blank and after this period or after this decimal point we have to write the digits or the values from after decimal point so 4 and 5 right so we will get 1 2 3 4 point 4 6 okay if you want the same uh, as it is displaying here then what we have to do then in that case we have to take it as 10.4 okay so what this 10.4 will do 10.4 will give 10 spaces 10.4 will give four spaces after decimal point to occupy this 4564 4, all these four digits now in addition to the, uh, those i f there are some uh, edit descriptors also now here edit descriptors is if you want to put blank spaces right if you want to put blank spaces then edit descriptor is x using this x we can put blank spaces and if you want say 10 spaces then nx if you want 20 spaces then 20x similarly tab to the column if you want to enter a tab tab means for example say 5 spaces or 6 spaces at the single time right so the descriptor is t and the difference is between spaces and tab is that if you want to give spaces then it is nx and if you want to give tab then it is tn okay so we have to give number after uh, t so here it is 15 tabs then tab right and space if you want to give tab right and space then tr or trn n and tab left and space then tln for new line this is important for new line we have to use this slash 
okay now we will write one program and using that program we will try to understand that how this uh, formatted statement works okay so let's start so we'll write down first statement is always program and program name so since we are doing formatted so let us write down formatted output so f o r o u t and then in program sorry in program double click this control c and control v okay now we will write one statement write okay now what we usually do we usually write it like this okay so this is syntax of unformatted statement now we will convert it into a format so i am writing here 5 for example and then since i have to write text i will write down it like this and let me write down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 right and i will copy this four more times okay so this is zero let me paste here again so one two times now it is two times three times four times and five times right so it is of total five times means how many numbers are there total 50 numbers right then i will copy this right statement let me copy this right statement we will paste here and now let us say statement number 10 here okay in this statement number i want to print say 12.5283 comma 12.5283 comma 12.5283 let me write down it like this now afterward we will see that what will be the difference in this three right again i will control v because it is already copied right so i have just uh, press control plus v and i got that copied material now let me write down here some uh, numbers so 100 comma 12234 comma 12345 right and now we have to give some statement number so remember statement number should be in between column number 1 to 6 so i will write down here statement number this is column number currently i am in column number 3 so make sure that your statement number should be always between column number 1 to 6 currently see i am in column number 2 right so let us write down here 5 and in front of 5 we will write down statement format okay and in format now 5 statement will get used in this right in number 2 okay so i have to print here 50 numbers so what i will do i will use a a is used for character and i will give a lot space to as 50 so here i have allotted space 50 for which uh, statement for this second number statement right similarly allow me to copy this i will paste it again i will paste it here okay and now in this format statement let me change the statement number here second statement number is 10 let me give here 10 and in this format statement i will write down f 10.2 comma f 10.3 comma f 10.4 right done now i will change this statement number to uh, okay so let me change this statement number as 15 or say let us say, say 20 we can we can give any number for example i like 21 number so i can give 21 number also but you have to make sure that the format in which you want to print this should have also 21 number so i will change this to 21 right <clears throat> now here we will use integers because these numbers are all integers so we will use integer for integer we have to use i so i 10 for first then in next line i want next line so use slash 
then slash comma again i now here i will use again 10 then comma again we i want to use slash then i want to use t so comma t 10 so 10 tabs will be there then again comma then again i want to use i 10 right so here there are three numbers right in 21 number here there are one two three and we have written i 10 i 10 and i 10 okay this t 10 is for space uh, tabs whereas this slash is for new lines okay so there will be two new lines means each word or each number will get printed into new line this 100 will get printed into new line this will get printed into new line this also get printed into new line right and then i will write down here a blank read statement so now let's try to run this program okay so after running it we will get such type of output now we will try to understand that how this how we got this output in first statement we have written this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 5 times means total numbers are 50 and format for this was a50 and we got such type of display we will use this for a reference let us consider that this is column number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 0 as column number 10 similarly again there is 11 12 13 14 till 50 let us consider this. This, this, this this we will use this for as a reference now in second statement uh, it, it is required to print these three numbers all these three numbers are same but format for this is 10 and in 10 format number we have used 10 f uh, sorry f 10.2 for this number f 10.3 for this number and f 10.4 for this number right so our output will be like this two uh, digit after decimal point for this one three digit after decimal point for this one because it is f 10.3 and four digit after decimal point for this one because it is 10 f 10.4 right so let us see in the output yes for first one only two digits are after decimal point for second one there are three, three digit after decimal point and for third one there are four digit after decimal point and the space occupied is c for every number the space allotted is 10 see 1 2 0 again 1 2 0 and again 1 2 0 right so 10 spaces are allotted because we have written here 10 10 and 10 and <clears throat> it always starts writing from in the reverse order it will start writing from from 10th place and towards the first place right now we will see how we get print of this statement okay so for this print statement or write statement the format is 21 in format 21 it is written i10 so what it will do it will allow 10 spaces and then write 100 from in the reverse order okay so so let's see yes it has allotted 10 spaces and it, it has written 100 in the reverse order 0 0 1 fine okay then there is slash slash means new line so we, we are on new line now then again i10 means it is uh, it will allot 10 spaces yes it has allotted 10 spaces and it uh, it, it started writing from uh, in or it started writing in the reverse order then again new line so we are on the new line now and then there there is t10 means 10 tabs so this space is uh, due to 10 tabs and then there is again i10 so i10 means this i10 is written here but so this is how formatted print statement or write statement is used hope you have understood this in case of any queries please comment in the comment box thank you